bleeping tunas! What? Pull starboard! Pull starboard, I said! Uh. Abandon ship! Abandon ship! Uh. And Tony, ugh, forget about it. He wouldn't know a book if it bit him on the nose. Mm -hmm. If I were them, I'd be worried what mom and dad are gonna think when they see their grades. Know what I mean, Mark? Mark? <laughs> huh? Mark Clark, you secret crusher. I thought you were all about grades and computers and cosines, not girls. What? I, I wasn't looking at that girl. <sighs> Well, I think it's sweet that you have a crush on Sheena Weston. Why don't you go over and talk to her? Are you crazy? I'm too much of a geek to go out with Sheena. She'd never be interested in me. Nonsense. You have plenty of good qualities she'd be interested in. You're smart, extremely intelligent, and very, um, brainy. Exactly. I'm a super nerd, not a super hunk. That's what's so charming about you. Impress her with your brain, but also be funny. Girls like that, too. Come on, you can do it. Well, if you say so. Hmm. Uh, hey, Sheena. Did you know the use of coins dates all the way back to the 11th century BC and they were made of stone? Hey, talk about cold hard cash. <laughs> Get cold hard. Smooth moves, Playa. Yeah, you charmed her all the way down the hall and out the front door. Nice try, Mark. At least now she knows who you are. Yeah, a milk-drenched freak. I told you I was too nerdy for her. Tell you what, bro. You just keep getting the good grades and leave impressing the ladies to me. Hey, what gives? Uh, what's going on? Are we at the right whoop? Jerry, did you get a makeover at the whoop salon or something? Greetings. Just working on the fairest of them all, Mira. A gadget that can change a spy's appearance for the better in an instant. Nice. Unfortunately, there's not much room for improvement with a spy like me. <laughs> there seem to be a few bugs that still need to be worked out. So, <clears throat> the mission at hand. Cargo ships are missing in an area of the Pacific Ocean. Luckily, the crews have escaped unharmed, but entire vessels are unaccounted for. I heard about this! Some think the ships are disappearing into another dimension, or a creature beneath the sea is eating them. Yeah, this coming from the kid who's afraid to go to bed because he thinks gremlins are eat him. Don't sweat it, Tony. I've never liked gremlins either. I'd like you to investigate this area and report back to me. Gadget-wise, Here's the ever-expanding ball cap oxygen tent, the eye breath eye tech attachment, and the boot slosh galoshes. Galoshes? You nasty, Jer. Couldn't we have a little fashion with our function? Yeah, I think galoshes are fashionable and functional. Just like your old friend, the Whoop Mini Steamliner. Lee, Tony, all aboard! Megan <laughs> 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 yeah! and Mark, you'll be in the Whoop Chopper. Good. I always get seasick. Plus, I'd hate to be right down in those dangerous waters like a sitting duck. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a second! Come on! of the chopper. Hey, where did you get that mirror, Mark? Now this? Yeah, um, it must have gotten mixed up with our other gadgets. <laughs> Guys, are you seeing this? 
It looks like wreckage to me. We're coming down. What a mess! I wonder if this is from one of the ships Jerry mentioned. According to the Whoop GPS, this is definitely within the area where the ships have gone missing. Hey, I see something! This is from the SS Norlander! One of the ships that went missing! Wonder what it was hauling! Stuffed teddy bears? Well, at least I won't have to pay for Tony's birthday present this year. You better <gasps> not! <laughs> the ocean's totally littered! Look at all this junk! Who's gonna clean it up? Now do you believe what people are saying about this place? Something very scary lurks beneath the water. The only place something scary lurks is in your head, bro. Hmm. This boat really got scraped up by something. Duh! A shark-clawed sea creature that has a taste for humans! Uh, guys? Why does the water look like a flushing toilet? I'm a little more freaked out that the ocean looks like grape juice. Whoa. Guys, I think this is something best investigated from a distance, like high in the sky! Come on, Lee! Get that engine fired up! We better drop them a cable before they go under! My, you're to come back at once. A storm's blowing in and I can't risk losing more agents in those waters. I'll try and track Lee from here. We have to stay here. I mean, what if he resurfaces? I agree. I want you agents out of there ahead of the storm. <gasps> That's an order. It's like something other than the current got a hold of him. I just wish I knew whether Lee was okay or not. <gasps> You're not going to believe this. Let me guess. You just got invited to another Friends of the Earth slumber party rally? No, Egghead. It's Lee. He just texted to say he's okay. Yeah! Hi, Cher. It's Megan. Good news. We just got a text from Lee and he's fine. That is good news. I'll intercept the message and pinpoint his exact location. I'll be in touch. Keep your eyes on your huh? experiments, people. This is a very unstable solution we're working with today. Awesome! Things are looking up. Don't tell me you're still sticking to that silly sea creature idea. So far, it's the only logical explanation. We heard from Lee. Awesome! What are we waiting for? Let's go get him! Oh, hi, Megan. How was school? It was great. Uh, now if you'll excuse me. Have you seen Lee? I'd like to have a word with him about his grades. Uh, uh Lee? N no, I, I haven't seen I'm Lee. coming! Lee, I got your report card today. <laughs> and I'm extremely disappointed in your grades. Hmm, you don't say. All D's except for two A's in Ooh. physical education <laughs> and lunch. You need to shape up immediately. Wow, uh, look at the time. I better hit the books if I'm going to bring my grades up. Huh? <sighs> that was a close one. You think she bought it? <sighs> I don't know. Good thing it has presets of all her faces on it. But Jerry has some serious bugs to work out. Speaking of which, we better check in with him. 
Hello, spies. Glad you called. I have some breaking news. After analyzing the scrape marks on the piece of boat you sent, I've determined they were created by lobsters. That's weird. It must have happened after the boat was destroyed. What about Lee? Have you been able to pinpoint his location? We've located his general whereabouts. We have an underwater rover you can control from the surface to search more thoroughly. Great! Send us a boat, Jira, and we'll go round him up. Unfortunately, Whoop is fresh out of boats, so I signed you on to be junior fisherman on a tuna boat. You're due to set sail immediately. Now, off you go. Well, don't just stand there. Swab the deck, you grimy dirt lovers. No wonder there used to be so many mutinies back in the pirate days. I just can't believe we're junior fishermen and we're not even allowed to do any fishing. But Sheena doesn't know that. Oh, brother. Megan, take a picture of me in my fisherman's outfit. Ha-ha! <laughs> now Sheena will have to be impressed with my manly manness. If you're done trying to impress that girl, now might be a good time to drop the rover in and find Lee. Oh, right. Megan, stand guard. Let's see if Jerry's little creation can come through for us. It's Lee's heartbeat! He's still down there and doing okay! This thing's got a camera, too! Let's see if we can spot the big lug. What could those things be? They look almost as if they're robotic lobsters. Well, whatever they are, I'm glad they look pretty friendly. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, friendly like a pit bull! So this is where the missing ship stuff is being taken. But why? Huh, looks like someone's opening a tacky seafood restaurant down here. <gasps> Make yourself comfortable. You're my guest. Right, of course. Why wouldn't I be comfortable around a giant robotic lobster? <laughs> We need to get out of here right away or we'll be in serious danger! Back to work on the double, you scamps, or you'll be in serious danger! But, Captain... This ship is carrying time... Here we go again! Huh? <laughs> Get the lifeboats! We're going down! Don't touch those lifeboats! If I have to go down with the ship, you do too! These lobster thingies are creating the whirlpool by swimming in circles. We'd better get into the cabin because this oxygen isn't going to last much longer. Oh, hey, hey, come on, let's go, let's go. We're going down. Yeah! Whoa, that's the most. What's that? Some rare form of crustacean? No, you lungfish! It's the mother of all lobsters! I bet that mutant thing was created by pollution! I just hope it's leading us to Lee! Welcome, mateys. <gasps> Lee, you're okay. What a relief to see you. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the deal with the table? Were you expecting guests? There's some weird lobster robot around here who seems to like formal dining. I tried to find out what his deal is, but no luck. Say no more. That's the thing that brought us here. Clearly, he's a creature like the one I was telling you about. Tony, really, you need to stop with that nonsense. He's right! I am a creature! The most dangerous kind of creature. Man, and man's pollution is destroying everything underwater. Ha! Yeah! 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 Uh, excuse me. 
If you're so concerned about pollution, why are you smashing ships and leaving their debris all over the place, Lobster Boy? Don't argue. Trust me, she really knows her stuff on this topic, pal. A small price to pay. As a marine biologist and amateur fisherman, I've seen firsthand how people treat the sea. So you're attacking ships? I don't get it. And creating an underwater society, which I'll rule with my high-tech mechanical lobster minions! <laughs> this lair and the junk you've collected, doorknob cozies, shoe stretchers, are going to be the new, exciting underwater society? It's a start. Those are things all societies eventually need. Now, enjoy your new home and join me for a lobster dinner. <laughs> oh. Huh, those lobsters are rubber. You really expect us to eat them? Of course they're rubber. I'd never harm a living sea creature. <gasps> Oh. Yum, that was tasty. Well, time to complete the final step of my plan. I'm planting explosive charges along the coastlines of the world to blast the land into the oceans. Soon Earth will be all water. <laughs> ah, a sailor's delight. Not if you live in my undersea world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have to get out of here and stop that nut. I spent enough time underwater. <sighs> Apparently pretty hard. Looks like the depth charges Krabby Bob mentioned are the lobsters themselves. Hey, a text from Sheena. <laughs> Girls are a lost cause, matey. The sea should be your only love. Uh, anyone want to focus on getting us out of here before this place fills with water? We use the ever-expanding ball cap oxygen tent. You guys to the surface while we go after Krabby Bob. You guys got your eye breath, eye tech attachment, and boot slosh galoshes? What? How do they get out of the lair? Time to bring the earth down to my level! He's sending the lobsters off to blow up the coastlines. We need to stop them before they get there. They're blocking our path. It looks like they're onto us. <sighs> Yo! <clears throat> hey, I'm already big for my age. Don't stretch me out anymore. <sighs> we can't get past them. Use your boot rockets. My babies! You'll be sorry when I catch you. <laughs> Megan, we need to get Krabby Bob to drop that remote so we can stop the exploding lobsters. Gotcha! Wait, what are you? Uh-oh, only 10 seconds until detonation. Quick! Bring them back to sea! I mean, lobsters like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wish me luck, Megan. I'm giving it one last try. Don't tell me you're using that mirror again. Hmm. Well, at least let me pick out your look this time. 
Thanks, sis. I hope you picked a winner. Uh, hello, Sheena. I was just wondering if you'd like to go out with me sometime. After all the crease have been hitting on me this week? Sure. Why not? Uh, thanks anyway. I, I mean, great! I'll see you Friday around 8-ish? Megan, she said yes! Whatever look you pick worked! No way! Go figure! You know, for a genius, you can be pretty clueless sometimes. <laughs>